these are kids who will never pay taxes, they'll never hold a job, they'll never play baseball, they'll never write a poem, they'll never go out on a date, many of them will never use a toilet unassisted. And we have... Back then he said that in a few months' time, he was going to present what he thought was the cause of autism. Well, we're at that point now. And according to leaked media reports, the Wall Street Journal, the culprit is a painkiller that you can buy over the counter that half of pregnant women all over the globe take. RFK Jr. is going to say that acetaminophen is most likely the reason for, or one of the major reasons for the rise in autism. A lot of studies have been done on this medication and autism. This is the most recent one. Researchers from UCLA to Harvard have looked at all the most comprehensive scientific studies done on this topic, and they have concluded that there is no causal link between when women who are pregnant taking this medication, it can't be proven. What they have found, some of the studies that they looked at, some of the studies say that there is a higher risk, there's a higher rate of autism if acetaminophen is taken during pregnancy. But that doesn't mean that that acetaminophen taken during pregnancy is the reason for those kids getting autism. No scientific study can say that at this point. So just keep that in mind in the ensuing weeks and months. And one last thing to mention here is that regardless of what the medication is, if you are pregnant and considering taking something, ask your doctor. It doesn't matter what anyone says about how safe or dangerous it is. Ask your doctor.